Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Broncos Franchise. So, uh, this is how everybody had week five happening for the Broncos, right? In real life, right? The Broncos being three and one. G G yep. Go Bo Nix. And the Las Vegas Raiders being three and one. Minshew mania, right? That This is 100% how you saw it unfolding. I mean, if you take a look right now at the AFC West, we're in a three-way tie with the Chiefs, exactly how God drew it up to be. We're the seven seed right now. What is happening? To be honest, besides the Ravens, we're the, they're the only team that has a better record than us. And listen, it's clearly because of the young king, Bo Nix. All right, listen, the rookie out of Oregon's been pretty dang good. He had one really bad game. I know you're gonna see the six interceptions and be like, whoa, but I think three of those came from one game. Uh, other than that, he's got eight touchdowns in, in six interceptions as a whole uh, for 640 yards to start. Our rushing game has been pretty good as well. Javante Williams got the upgrade in the last video. And so he has a touchdown and 295 yards so far on the ground and Bo Nix has 203 yards with three rushing touchdowns so our run game has not been as it's been pretty solid I mean McLaughlin here has a 5.4 yards per carry and P Ryan's got 5.0 uh, yards per carry so the run game's been pretty good receiving wise we have the rookie Troy Franklin who is leading the team in yards 138 yards three touchdowns for him on eight receptions Cortland Sutton's right behind him at 130 with two touchdowns and Greg Dolchich it's funny because you guys have been coming to the Twitch chat going Daddy Dominguez why do you dislike Greg Dolchich so much I don't know he's just boring a boring ass bitch I don't know and then Tim Patrick's got 93 yards we're spreading the ball out a little bit here and there I like it uh, poor Marvin Mims Russell Wilson didn't care to throw to him apparently I don't either sorry there champ you don't get shit but our defense has been solid enough. Zach Allen already has three sacks and Browning has one. Interceptions wise, we've got two for PS2, two for Wallace, and then one apiece for Turner Yell, Cody Barton, and Abrams Drake. Pretty nice on our defense so far. I'll take that all day. This is much better than I thought we were gonna do. And it's funny because we're getting to a spot where it's, I mean, week nine is the trade deadline this season, right? The owners extended it, but like we're three and one. Obviously we still got five, six, seven, eight, nine to go. I thought this was gonna be a for sure, hey, we're selling but we might not be, I, we look kind of good, but we do have to cross Max Crosby and the Raiders. They've got Devonte Adams. Their quarterback though is Gardner Minshew. Minshew mania. I, I don't know what to expect to him, but because it is all Madden, uh, the difficulty which you're playing, expect Minshew to throw for 425 yards with four passing touchdowns and one pick. I'm just gonna call it. They have Madison as the running back over Zamir White. I feel, and I, again, I don't know, maybe the comment section is gonna disagree with me here, but I'm all in on Zamir White this year. Uh, he's two years now in the league, came out of Georgia, but I feel like he's gonna be very nasty and get a lot of touches this year. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So I don't know, am I wrong there? Zamir White, does he have a little fucking uh, breakout season upon us? And then wide receivers, all the names you know. You know Devontae Adams, you know Jacoby Myers. Uh, Michael Gollum, didn't he retire? Anyway, and then KJ Osborne and Charlie Jones. But the tight end, first round pick for the Raiders, Brock Bowers is going to be a menace to keep up with. And to be fair, Michael Mayer's a good tight end as well. I mean, Brock Bowers is clearly better, but I, I, 89 speed from the tight end, I feel like he's gonna cook us. And then of course, Max Crosby, he's a 98. He's going to be relentless. He's going to be inside of our booty cheeks and I don't like it. Now, the one thing, Malcolm Koontz is not that good. So hopefully we can just keep running the ball to him and run it from completely away from big scary Mac Crosby but then again Christian Wilkins the defensive tackles an 88 overall he's going to be disgusting as well their cornerbacks fall off pretty hard after Maddox here so I'm not entirely worried about that if we can have enough pocket presence to get a quick pass off or a good run to run away from Max Crosby we should be able to do some stuff on offense but you know before we do anything we got to jump into practice baby that's right it's time for us to become the best we can I am not worried about the run from them I mean Madison and Samir White could do stuff but I feel more so that they're gonna throw the damn football i'd rather be worried about trying to play that right the defense for passing i feel and then max crosby's gonna eat our anus i the only thing i don't like about blitz counter is the fact that it takes faster reaction to short passes we're a short pass king we're gonna stay with our with our best strength with the short passing and running so let's see what we can do also this will be the game that we find out bo nix's uh dev trade i would be stunned if it's anything but star so it should be star, but I, if it was superstar, let me tell you, I would I would butter a croissant for that, I tell you. Let me see, can we hit this deep? Can we hit this one, two, and then cat? Yes, let's go, let's go. Beautiful stuff, Bo Nix. 
I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. And again, if you like the Broncos franchise videos, do me the biggest favor and click that thumbs up button. It helps me and my videos perform way better. So I appreciate it in advance. Thank you for fighting YouTube algorithm. Of course, always comment down below. I'm always down for your pointers or your hot takes for the NFL season. It's always fun to look at them. I read them all. So make sure you comment down below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We're getting close to 40K, which I think would be kind of cool. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm starting to throw. I'm starting to be trash. I'm at silver. We should be able to get gold easy, but God, I need to hit some of these two target rows with Bo Nix here. I just am not very good at lining it up. Also, oh, there's three. Never mind. I'm the best there ever was. I'm the I'm the best. Bo Nix, rise up and gold. Show me a dev trade upgrade. I will eat it from the back. I know he's hidden. You can still get dev trade upgrades. Would it spoil it before today's game? Yes, but I don't care. No dev trade upgrade. Only 750 XP. All right, Franklin, it's time to do your damn thing, baby. Let's go. The thing with Franklin is I feel like in real life, I've been reading everything saying that he's not doing very good and might not even make the starting lineup for the Broncos in, in preseason stuff. But I mean, you got to think eventually he's going to be nice, right? And at least in our dynasty, we're going to keep trying to develop him. He was a highly, uh, he, was, he was picked, he, he has great rapport. It looks like, he, I mean, he, him and Bo Nix with his connection at Oregon, super fun. A lot of play a lot of people were excited about him a little bit coming out of the draft obviously he wasn't one of the big name wide receivers but he should be good enough right he should end up being solid and we're gonna hope we can develop it and make him make him slightly better than solid and there we go gold medal for troy franklin no dev trade upgrade for him but we got 750 xp and our last player I'm not gonna do Javante Williams anymore. We got him to superstar. I feel like that's good enough. I'd almost wonder, can we get 25 year old Quinn Miners to get superstar dev? He's 25, we can extend him. He's still incredibly good and incredibly young. I think that might be the move. I don't know, let's give it a start. I mean, if he ends up being superstar dev, he would end up being like a 90 by the end of the season. All right, come on, Tubby, let's run this damn thing. There's one. This dude is significantly way better shape than I am, and I'm calling him fat. Isn't that crazy? I'm a piece of shit. Here we go. I'm coming. Smack the ball. Yes. Smack it again. Yes. Go get stamina. We got this, baby. There's that. Grab the one. Come on back. Bring it around. I'm so good at this game, dude. You don't even understand. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, your mother eats poo. Here we go. I'm coming. Bam, bam. Bam. Give me the plus one. Give me that multiplier. Smack the ball. Smack all the ball. Oh God, other side of the field. Oh God, we're coming. Honestly, I don't know why I'm sweating. I feel like I'm doing pretty, pretty good at this as I almost failed. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh shit, no! I got gold, nailed it. No superstar for him this time. I would have been kind of stunned if I'm gonna be honest since last week we just got one, but you never know. We're gonna also put our coach goal for a interception. I am working to use my coach points to get more focus players. I know that exists. I am trying my dangdest, I tell you. All right, does anybody have boo-boos? No boo-boos. It looks like our offense is healthy. And on defense, Roach is going to be out with a hit pointer. So that is a conundrum and a half. Also, our cornerback, Wallace, cornerback number two, is going to be out with a dislocated wrist. Well, Troy Franklin has an upgrade at least, so we can try to throw something on him. I'm going to do slot on him. Let's go ahead and see what that does for us, see if that helps us. We get three upgrades, catching medium route plus one and short route plus two. I mean, his route running is kind of ass. 75 now in short route, 73 medium route, 81 deep. We do need to kind of work on that. Man, having Wallace out is brutal. We really could use another corner. If we end up buying at the deadline, I feel like we got to get another corner to throw out here. Well, obviously, I don't know how the Chiefs are going to do this week, but I mean, listen, three and one Vegas, three and one Denver. It is the battle for the AFC West and it's starting early. It's time. Let's get into the game. But before we do that, today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is a daily fantasy sports app where you can do two different kinds of games with your traditional drafts and all that good stuff where you'll play for either season long or daily slate games and accrue points on how they do in real life. Or you can do their pick 'em games, which is picking higher or lower. For instance, will Patrick Mahomes have over under one and a half passing touchdowns in the game against the Ravens on the fifth? Will Derrick Henry have a rushing or receiving touchdown on that game as well? or you can do season long pickums for higher and lowers. I asked my Twitch chat what they liked and we made this entry right here. Dalton Kincaid over five and a half receiving touchdowns. 
Zamir White over 799 uh, rushing yards. Baker Mayfield over 23 and a half passing touchdowns. Mike Evans over 68 and a half receptions. But you can try this yourself. Here's the map letting you know if you can do the pick'em games, the higher lowers right here. Yellow and blue states can play. And if you want to do a full season long fantasy draft, you can do it right here. Here are their drafts. I'm going to be running some of these on Twitter and the Twitch streams over the next couple weeks as we get close to the season. So if you want to join a draft with me and you're in a yellow state, make sure you sign up with promo code Daddy D, which will give you a first deposit bonus up to $1,000 now. You don't have to put 1000 but you can if you want. If you're a high roller, you could put dang 20 bucks in there. It's all how you want to play. You know your finances as always be responsible. People that use my code are also going to get my Bijan Robinson right here over half a rushing yard for week one special that you can use on any of your pick'em entries. So take a look at Underdog Fantasy. And again, thank you to Underdog for sponsoring today's video. All righty. There are three teams in our division with a three and one record. And after this game, there will at least only be, well, I guess technically if we won this game or the Raiders won and the Chiefs won, they'd be four. And one. There might only be one three and one team left in our division. The Raiders are right there. I honestly feel like we have a good shot to beat them. I know they're three and one, and I know you're thinking, Dimu, they're a bad rated team, etc. But they have some fun pieces. If we can get our short passes on point and we can maybe get some good runs away from Max Crosby and their other skill players, I really feel like we do have a shot. Defense is going to be interesting this one because we are playing down a corner and it's not like we have the best corners ever anyway. So, but it's Gardner Minshew. Is Minshew going to cook? I don't really know. All right, we'll be getting the football first in this one, which usually I don't entirely like. I usually feel like getting the ball at the half and kind of knowing where you're at is kind of a huge advantage. But Mims is going to get us to the 34, so we'll get some good field position to start this bad boy for Bonix, the king, the legend, the future of the Broncos. Again, I know when you see this, you're going to see six interceptions. But again, if you take that one game where he had three away, he's really been really solid. He's had three good games and I'd say one bad game. All righty, the first play of the drive. First drive, here we go. Bo Nix dropping back. A little screen play, and it's going to go to Ryan, who gets pummeled after a five-yard gain by Spillane. I think his first name's Robert. I think? Am I wrong there? Maybe. Maybe I am wrong. Second and five, here we go. Give me a run. That's a great run, and there's Javante Williams cutting up the field. 12 yards on his first gain. We like it. Offensive line played that phenomenally there. I need them to keep having terrific blocks through this one as we're going to get a yard on that one. Second and nine. Williams really good last week. 109 yards on the ground. He got his new dev trait. Super fun. I need him to continue to be a force. Here we go. Nobody in the backfield. Bo Nix dropping back over the middle of the field. That's Cortland Sutton, and he's going to get great yards. Perfectly timed place by Bo Nix, and it's a first down. I changed his route to 100% a guaranteed uh, uh, slant. I wanted to see if he could beat that middle linebacker who might have been flat-footed, and he was right there over the middle of the field. He's got space. Sure, there's guys near him, but he was able to get away from him. Big stuff right there. First and 10, here we go. Got to get a good run here. Got to get a good run, and we don't really get one. Two yards better than nothing. But it's second and eight. This is going to be interesting. We've been running the football here. Maybe we try for play action. Play action. Bo Nix. I don't think I have a clear shot. I'm going to try to run this thing for a first. I don't get it, but we get out just in time. Third and one. Late hit. You're hitting my boy. Okay, the way their defensive line is, if I don't get this damn first down, I'm going to die. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. Williams first down. He's got like seven yards, eight yards right there. Four carries, 23 yards. We'll take it. Bo Nix dropping back. Oh, no. I stepped up into the pocket. Bad decision. I had something on the right side of the field, I think. I didn't see it. Second and goal, though. Second and goal. Get away, get away, get away from me. That's a pick. Oh, I thought he was going to follow the wide receiver going across. We were going to hit Franklin on the backside. It's a pick in the red zone. Robert Spillane stood there beautifully, and it's a pick. And Javante Williams is hurt. Are you kidding me? Keep him out for a bit. On the 11, this has to be a run, right? Has to be a run. Smells like a run. It's not a run. It's actually super duper not a run, and I'm lucky I didn't get pass interference there. Overthrown ball by Gardner Minshew. This could be a run second and two, or no, second and 10. It is a run. It's going to go to Zamir White, who's going to go down after a four yard gain, third and six. I need to get a stop here. Make up for our oopsie poopsie. We got to do it. Third and six. Minshew looking to pass. He's going to get that pass, and it's going to be beautiful. A beautiful ball right there to Jacoby Myers, and he took a big hit, but he held on. First down there at the 41. First and 10. We're looking. We're looking. Daddy's looking. Daddy can't find anything he likes. 
five yard gain i really was hoping i could find that one route that was going to be guaranteed thrown to and i just i'm just not doing a very good job at it we're gonna press this and we're gonna say pass and we're gonna play over the top i feel like that might work and it did not work nothing actually worked there because that's a beautiful ball right there to michael gollop he doesn't even play anymore man here we go here's a run here's a run wrap him up bring him down in the backfield there's also a flag which you gotta think is a hold right it is so we push him back it'd be more than first and 20 or second and 12 first and 20 and try to hope you can hit him again in the backfield try to start moving them out of field goal make them go farther i don't know this might not work but let's see i'm gonna try to send heat here there was a, a run attempt from second and forever from first and forever and it turns into second and forever so we'll take it into the first quarter here it's a zero zero game the most boring game you've ever seen it's been all defense pick and then us trying to get a stop but we need more defense because they're close to getting some points on the board i mean if this isn't a throw i would be flat out stunned play action there's the check down i missed he went out of bounds thank god he's an idiot holy shit i just whiffed third and 12 don't whiff again i would love for this defense to try to break through and get me something that's a pick on my end cody barton let's go baby big pick both of our shitty ass quarterbacks like to throw picks on the other side of the field he threw it right to cody barton that's a big pick we'll take it defense nay leave a like on the video if you're enjoying this right now gosh dang it otherwise your grandma will cry tears and you don't want my gram gram cry run the damn football believe in yourself believe in yourself truck a bitch it's p ryan four yard gain we'll take it thank you p ryan empty backfield middle of the field it's gonna be it's gonna be troy franklin the rookie from oregon taking us all the way to the 36 things you like to see first and 10 bo nix oh i'm hitting i'm hitting patrick i'm hitting patrick right there keep it there buddy let's go that's tim patrick he was hurt forever he was hurt for like two years this is the first time he's seen the field in so long it's a good story hug him first and 10 here we go give me some blocks give me some blocks p ryan can't get through it only picks up one yard not the best there p ryan's still in our boy williams is still hurt i i miss him i miss him so much Cortland sutton getting the first down things you like to see right there he has two catches 35 yards on the day Cortland sutton here we go right there don't let him jump it patrick drops the football second and ten i thought the curl was going to be good there I, they were in man i figured they were going to be following the other receivers and if we could get Patrick to have that good, that back to the defender, bring the ball in, thought we had something. Second and 10. Run the damn football. P. Ryan gets exploded. It's third and 12. Golly, brother, I tell you what, that's not very fun. See what's up. Here we go. Bo Nix. Oh, I drew this up pretty nice, I think. Oh, I overthrew him. I don't know if he was going to be able to get it anyway. I tried to have it enough where I could run a post to bring the... They were in man. Have post. The guy on the far right come across the middle of the field as a post. The defender's following him. And then the man on the inside was going to run this corner out. And I was going to hope there was separation up between the defender and the receiver. That's where my head was at. We're going to have to kick a field goal here. Unfortunately, the kick is up. The kick is going to be good. That's a beautiful kick right there. Nailed it. So we are on the board at least three to nothing. Thank God. It's been a tough game, bro. All right. Raiders starting the drive with two minutes and four seconds on the clock here. They're going to get a, look, a good little run. And ooh, he almost broke free. Five yard gain though for Samir White. Two minute warning is upon us here. Second and five. This is gonna be a lot of passes, I feel. A lot of passes. I'm gonna try to see if I can bait anything. I really would like that. We're not going to. God, I was really hoping he'd throw near that middle linebacker. I was ready to jump that route over the middle of the field, maybe. Throws it away. That's gonna be second and 10. <laughs> Defense forcing Minshew to panic. Come on. I'm looking, I'm playing these routes. Little check down there to Zamir White. You're going to get only two yards. It's third and eight. That's good. Pushed him out of bounds, too. Let me get an incomplete pass or a stop here or a pick or something of that nature. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Third and eight. Devontae Adams scares me. Middle of the field scares me. Everything scares me. There's Jacoby Myers, I believe. I think is who that is. Yep, it is. Jacoby Myers, beautiful first down with a minute left. That's not good. They're cutting through us like butter, and I really did not want to give them points here to start this bad boy damn that's a great route i think that was Devonte adams it was coming back it was a we i don't know what the hell that route was that i just saw but he came back to it kind of in a weird spot here we go first and 10 30 seconds on the clock it's gonna be a touchdown oh my god we stopped them just shy they're on the one i mean this we got a run commit here 
if they beat me on something on the one and they decide to throw it so be it oh my god they are gonna throw it and well Gardner Minshew's a dumb piece of shit I don't even know what just I, I don't even know what just happened I've never been more confused in my life second and goal the run we pop the puss they're back at the five third and goal they're gonna have to use their second timeout I am so ready for this I need a miracle he didn't catch it he did what I know it's Devontae Adams but he got punched in his effing kidney excuse me I disagree oh his arm was bent backwards and he one-handed it what the hell okay so look at this he catches it he's getting fisted it's in his wrist actually he doesn't catch it but because he falls and then I mean am I being a bitch but I feel like you better have a fucking broken wrist there Devante what the hell I feel like the game just had one of those moments where it was like yeah you're gonna play this rather well but uh eat a bag of anus because you're not gonna stop it which whatever that's cool I guess I got 17 seconds and three timeouts what are the odds probably not good yeah we're not gonna run that out believe it or not 17 seconds to see what we can do here we go Bo Nix Bo Nix he's running He's running, give him the first down. Go, baby, go out of bounds. Okay, 10 seconds. Bo Nix just got thrown into oblivion, by the way. Dude's gonna pop out in Narnia. I need a miracle here, 10 seconds. Catch it. You son of a bitch. If you caught that, I'm calling a timeout and we're good. I, I feel like we could have had that, but Devontae Adams can get it with his wrist bent backward and his dick in his hand. Here we go. Beat him. Okay, all right. One second left. Good luck, everybody. I just need on the left side of the field us to get lucky and beat the shit. Why did he go down? Great pass. Good, good reception, Cortland. You stat padding son of a bitch. Did I possession catch that? I didn't think I did. I was trying to Y and then just go around him. Anyway, through the first half at seven to three, we don't even get the football here. So this is exciting and I'm bleeding and I'm dying. Run it inside. That's going to be our game plan. And then for them, it's stop this damn medium pass. Gardner Minshew is cooking second half action here this is a battle for our division we gotta we gotta wake up and grab a, a brush and, and, and put on a little bit of makeup what in the shit are we doing oh my heavenly father what are we doing they just returned the kick i'm having a good time this guy's name is lube that was embarrassing it's now 14 to 3. i oh the Raiders are cooking us. Okay, all right, okay. Come on, Bo, it's time for you to wake up, buddy. All right, door set, he's ready. Get me yards. Get me yards, baby. Get me yards. That's good yards. I mean, it's not us running it all the way back, but we're the 38, we'll take it. And here comes Cortland Sutton. Yeah, he's got 78 yards. Hey, Cortland, where'd a lot of those yards come from? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Deep ball, deep football. Right there to Troy Franklin. Beautiful ball, we answer on one play. Read the defense really good there. They had the high safety. I put the uh, our, 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 our tight end who was a wide out. I put him on a post to try to keep him towards the middle of the field. Saw the curl route there playing man. He was worried about that. Then the slant, beat that shit. We're good to go. Look at us go, Troy Franklin. We're going for a two point conversion here. I believe, long live the queen. Long live the queen. I couldn't get rid of the ball. I, I, I panicked, I shit my pants. Oh, I'm an idiot. If I can play a lick of defense, we're back in this. That was a great play. We needed that on offense. Listen, did I only get six there? Yes. But again, that was great. Please bring him down. What are we doing? Okay, at the 32. Here we go. It's Gardner Minshew. I got to make him have a bad time. Like, I got to just kind of let him eventually show the world, hey, I'm Gardner Minshew. Please tackle Samir White. Thank God. Two-yard gain for the Raiders on the first carry of this drive. Here we go. They're looking to pass. Looking over the middle of the field. It's a little check down to Samir White. Bring him down. Third and five. I need some defense. This has got to be a pass. It feels like a pass. It smells like a pass. I'm ready for anything this world has to offer. Five-yard gain. Don't let him do it. Gardner Minshew has to suck. Let Gardner suck. Okay. Can we have a fucking word about the Harry Potter-ass shit we just saw? I, Brock Bowers is phenomenal. Big fan as a, as a UGA guy. He threw it behind brock but brock just said don't worry i got fucking them slippery feet what the hell was that can i stop being just make him at least lean to the left and get it what the hell he slid like fucking four feet what it's a run it's a run pop him he's still up he's dead second and nine ha! zamir white has five carries for seven yards our run defense has been really good it's this 
Gardner Minshew bitch that's cooking me. I could really use another pick here. Could really use another pick. There's a little check down and we're gonna hit him quickly. And that's gonna be a third and nine now after that ass pass. Please, we need defense. And I'm scared to run. I'm, I'm scared to kind of blitz here because I feel like if I do that, I'm gonna screw myself, but we need to get to the quarterback just a little. It's a screen, I've read it. I've read it, please tackle him, please tackle him. Do not let him get the fucking first down. Come on guys, wake up. My defense is killing me slowly. This better be a god dang run. If it's not a run and I better tackle and I'm not gonna tackle. They got set six yards. I hate it here. Second and four, Minshew. It's a pass. Oh my, how did he catch that with my arm inside of his spleen? What? I throw this ball with Bo Nix and this is a pick every time. So he's in front, he caught it, but our arm is inside his arms. We're actually inside his arm. Why is, why are my players the goddamn Casper the Friendly Ghost bitches? Madden! I'm gonna have hemorrhoids is what I'm gonna have. EA is not making this easy on me. Big tackle. Sack, eat it from the back. Let's go, second and 15, thank God. That's right, Gardner, you stupid bitch. Stop pointing at yourself, Gardner. Second and 15. Minshew looking to throw, of course, of course, of course. We gave so much space, by the way. Goodness gracious, third and five. I hate that. I gotta get a good blitz here, I gotta. Third and five, third quarter's over. I mean, we're running out of time here, man. This game has been a lot of pussy footing around. It's a run, it's a run, tackle him. Fourth and two, let's see. It's a five point game right now. If they kick the field goal, I still gotta get two. All right, I gotta go for two if I get the touchdown. A stop here, like a, a blocked kick would be something incredible. We're not gonna do it. That kick is up. There's a flag. There's no way. I did not dive into that fucking kicker. Bro, I didn't dive near him. All right, well, first down for Minshew and the Raiders. That's that's fun and, and, and exciting. And, and Zamir White is now starting to throw me aside a bit. Second and goal, second and goal. It's gotta be a run, right? They're running at the outside. We're gonna get a good tackle there. Let's go, that's huge. Browning, big tackle, third and goal. That was a TFL. I'll tell you what, a pick here would feed families so much. Feed families, he's rolling out. It's, oh my God, it could have been a pick. Why did, PS2, why didn't you, oh my sweet loving Christ. I don't know how to feel. They're gonna kick this field goal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit him. I'm not gonna do it. Now I'm gonna dive because I don't have the little X that pops up. It is 17 to nine, which means it's an eight point game. We need a touchdown and a two point conversion now. This is a, the, the most sweaty game I've had in Broncos franchise right now. I am so scared that I'm about to mess this up and do stupid stuff. Dorset. <gasps> Dorset. Oh my God. We ran one back. Philip Dorset the second touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Both. Oh my God. Look at us go. I can't believe this. Okay, go for two, it's a tie game. Go for two, it's a tie game. Go for two, sweetie. Anybody notice that Cortland Sutton is just standing there naked and alone? I'm just gonna, yeah. Did he go out of bounds? Oh my fucking God. Cortland, are you an, are, are you an idiot? Oh my God. I gotta see a replay. Cortland might be the dumbest bitch on the fucking team. First off, this dude's naked. I lobbed the ball. Just stop fucking moving. Just stand there and catch it. I tried to possession catch so he would stop doing whatever the fuck he's doing here. This game hates me. This game, look at these dudes. They're standing there and they're like, holy shit. Can you believe that we let this happen? I know, Paul, that's crazy. But did you see dipshit over here deciding to use those bright ass orange cleats to make sure he's standing in all the white I am literally I'm gonna I'm gonna have a hemorrhoid I'm gonna I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna hemorrhage in my brain I'm gonna bleed the Raiders start the drive to 27 how the hell do you stop this piece of shit Gardner Minshew I'm, I'm begging I'm begging anybody teach me play action there's a flag, it's gonna be a hold. Thank God, thank God it's gonna be a hold. Push them back, let them know how it feels. Oh, and Elgin ran downfield. Kick them in the teeth. First and 15. Now, here's the question. Do they just run the damn football here in those first and 15? You probably do, right? So you can get a couple of yards and try to go for it on second and third and chunks. Nope, it's play action and it's, it's, it's gonna be a touchdown is what it's gonna be. Thank God for PS2. He ran fucking 730. Minshew has 243 fucking yards. Come on. 
First and 10. Big, big breakup right there. I really wish we jumped that route just a little bit more and could have picked that. I mean, I feel like I'm losing my effing mind out here right now. Play action. Jesus Lord. Devontae Adams just jumped through me like I'm a fucking invisible parakeet. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what, these two point conversions are killing me right now. If I had just kicked it the first time, it'd be an eight point game. If I had not gone for two in the last one or just at least gotten it, I mean, it's a two possession game because we just can't figure out two point conversion. But even though we had it on the last damn play, I'm not gonna take the blame for that. I'm simply not. I feel like if you're gonna blame me for that YouTube comments section, we gotta have a real conversation. You just hate me. What is this camera? I don't even know. First and 10, Broncos. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Little screen, get out there. There's P. Ryan, out of bounds. I guess not. Clock's through. I guess it doesn't stop till under. I don't even know. We have 200 passing yards of Bo Nix. We only thrown the damn ball eight times or 13 attempts. Bo Nix, come on. Beautiful ball from Bo to Troy Franklin. Huge. I need hurry up offense here. Oh, don't do that. Oh, if you hurry up offense, it burns like 30 fucking seconds. Two minute warning now. I have to save all my timeouts too because we just simply will not have a shot if we... Oh, fuck, that's a pick. I threw it on the run. I threw it on the run. I hate myself, dude. Well, if I had stopped, if I wasn't running, we're able to hit that thing. We're accurately... I throw it on the run. We throw it... That's just... That's just me. Gotta be better. First intent. The Raiders have... Uh, if, if this is how the Raiders all the other games have gone, the entire league hates the the damn las vegas raiders because i i tell i'm gonna tell you i hope we play the raiders again i don't know what our schedule looks like i think we do i want to play them again and i want to take a shit right on their middle logo okay i want to go to i want to go to the 50 and i want to take a shit on their logo timeout i mean i don't even know why i'm using my timeouts here it's a damn nine point game unless i'm about to run one back again then get an on i mean there's just so many different things that would have to happen or ps2 could just get a pick here and then he could just run his happy ass all the way in, almost all the way in to the five. Oh, is this, is, is it making me believe, dude? Don't do it. This is mean. This is cyberbullying. This is, this is really effing mean. Oh, just run, Bo, just run, just run, buddy. I threw <laughs> Get me out of, get me out of this game. Get me out of this game. <laughs> get me out of this game. Get me out of this fucking game. I want to be out of this game. Is that a safety? It's not. Are you shitting me? Come on. Come on. Oh, there was a weird world where this would have worked out in our favor. Oh, that would have been awesome if we could have gotten the safety, then get the... Oh, that would have been incredible. Would have been the biggest brain I've ever had. Damn it. I mean, just try to sack the dick off this man. Nope. I mean, we threw him backwards. It didn't work. That we have no timeouts. Unfortunate. They're gonna punt it here with like one second left. We we lost. I mean, this was an ugly game. It was very, very ugly. Absolutely. I'm gonna take full responsibility, of course, but what a move by Mims. I mean, there were times though, listen, listen. There were times where it really just felt like the game was like, yeah, you can't do anything. Good luck. I'm aware I made mistakes. I mean, three interceptions, the last one, do we really fucking count i was just trying some bullshit i mean horrible for us man we got we went nine for 16 233 yards obviously the three interceptions is gonna kill bo nicks unfortunately not great i'm aware but i mean what a brutal what a brutal game williams had four carries before getting hurt uh p ryan could not run the football then at this point we're finding ourselves down so it's just we, sh we should have run more of course but franklin had a big day touchdown 113 yards sutton three for 78 i get me out of ever looking at the Raiders. I, the Raiders infuriated me in this game. Get me out of here. PS2 got an upgrade. He did have a pick, but he, he could have had a... He, if he got the big pick in the end zone where it literally hit off his hand and he just went, no, that would have been... Oh, that would have fed families, I tell you. That would have been a whole different six tackle. Good Lord. Good Lord. Now we got to play the Chargers. The Raiders are four and one. Oh, what a world we live in, dude. What a world we live in. The Chargers are one and three, but they have Justin Herbert. And I feel like when we get in this game here, it's going to be hard as hell trying to stop him. Uh, mock draft one is out. Where do the Broncos fall? Corner is in the top five. Defensive tackle. We need some defense stuff. Like, I, I feel like we're okay in a lot of areas, but we could really try to find some fun corners, I feel. 
uh that would be huge and i'll tell you <laughs> this guy already i mean we've only seen 40 percent of him but he has a uh what is it a catching and a zone and elite the great speed solid decent jumping solid decent change direction that's not killer but the speed is nice but how tall is he 510 he's 21 he's young the skill set might be there i don't know very interesting but he's projected to go number one. Where are we at? The Chargers who we play are projected to take Joey Monroe, who's projected to be a top five talent. No idea if he is, but his zone coverage is F. He's an outside linebacker speed rusher out of USC. We are a lot. We are right here at 20. We're expected to take a tight end. Casey Skillen, the six foot six tight end out of Ohio State. Oh, he's a monster. I know what you're saying. Demi, why do you hate Greg Dolchich? I just do. His face bothers me. I don't know. I don't think I'd be taking tight end in the first round, though. I don't, at least, ah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, Justin Herbert, probably gonna cook us a little bit. He's probably gonna absolutely cook. And then for us, uh, deep passing's never what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the short pass, but that didn't work entirely great for us. So let's see if we can run the damn football. I, I mean, we're running into Khalil back. Is that a great idea? I, I don't entirely know. All right, Bo Nix, baby. We're back at practice. And after last week, both you and I clearly need it. And that's right. Demu, you threw the picks. He's the damn guy, okay? He's the one on the stat sheet. So eat my ass from the back. I got two targets there. Applaud me. Like the video right now and subscribe if you're new. We are at the time recording this less than a thousand now away from 40k which would be really cool to hit i'm not gonna lie this is my second channel and i've started this recently so it would be pretty cool to hit that my main youtube channel where i post a lot of it will be the oh my god i missed three targets where i post a lot of the show content it's just daddy with tv on uh, youtube take a look at that as well we're getting close to 200k there come on nicks come on nicks you gotta hit targets baby there's two all right they didn't want to catch it though that's fine go eat shit for me to get gold here in three receptions i don't really know if i'm gonna be able to there's two Oh God, we're still in bronze. I don't, there's no shot, right? There's no chance. One, two, maybe there's a chance times four. I just got to get two. I got to get two right here, right here. One, two. Oh, I'm in gold. God, we're incredible. Bo Nix, rookie of the year. Am I right, lads? Thank you. I'm really bummed how I played against the Raiders. So I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very bummed that I know you're bummed too, but this is a rebuild. It's not supposed to be just willy nilly walking down being great. We're going to suck. Okay. We're going to struggle. And clearly that game was a struggle. Even though Troy Franklin had a damn career day, it seemed having over a hundred, what was it? 130 yards and a tutty. Lucky bitch. Franklin. Get that ball. Thank you. I would absolutely love a dev trade upgrade just to make me feel a little better. I would feel relieved. All right. We're at gold. Last play. Can we? Burn the dude and go for the 500. Oh, oh, got it. Wait, did I not get the 500? I literally dragged my ass through it. Hello? Dev trade upgrade. Nope. We got XP though. All right. We got miners out here. He's ready to damn hit some balls. Oh shit, I missed. We're so screwed. This is kind of hard. I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of, I feel like it messes with my, uh, my depth perception to a degree. Cause I feel like I'm gonna hit it and then I run past it. I don't know if that's just me, could just be me. All right, we'll grab the stamina now and we'll hit that ball right there. That worked out so good. Yeah, I figured one had to be coming from the left. Oh shit, like I missed it right there. You see what I'm saying? Is that just me? Is it just, I'm a shitter? Don't answer that. Give me this, give me. Another thing while I'm doing this training thing, uh, another thing that me and a couple content creators like Bangle, Wheels, Giraffe Neck Mark, bunch of guys that make content, especially if you've watched a lot of Twitch and, uh, and YouTube and stuff, uh, we were talking about doing a college football online dynasty on and we'll record them live on Twitch And then of course I'll upload them here on the channel as well Would you be down for some college football uh, dynasty with creators and stuff head-to-head -head online with that? Does that tickle your pickle? Would you like me to be playing with wheels bangle and all those guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below This is gonna be bait to see who made it this far in the video, but I appreciate and love you anyway I'm still at bronze. Have there been any pluses and I've just not noticed them. Have I? Has there been any multipliers? What is happening? What is happening, dude? I don't see any multipliers. I don't see any stamina. They're shooting kind of fast now. I'm getting sweaty in real life here. It's hotter than 10 hells in my room. Oh God, I, I hit the ball into him. I got gold. What the fuck is that? It was silver five and then I hit it into, whatever. I don't care. I got gold and that's what matters, daddy-o. 
Let's go. No dev trade upgrade. God, I just wanted to be superstar. Week six, we really need a win here to try to figure out where, what, what is our identity this season? I mean, week nine is not too far away. Three and two, we're only one game behind the Chiefs and the Raiders. How in the hell are the Raiders four and one? I just, I'm so confused. I don't know, but I mean, we got to figure out what's going on here. All righty, it's time. Chargers Broncos, we're at home here for week six. Chargers... I still feel are kind of a bit underrated to a degree. Their wide receiver room 100% changed. Uh, you got Mike Williams, he's gone. You've got, uh, gosh, who was the other dude that left? You've got Keenan Allen, who's gone. But you've got some fun new names here. Uh, Everett's gone as well. You've got good old Hayden Hurst, Falcons legend at tight end. You've got Lad McConkey, the Bulldog, uh, UJ Bulldog legend there. Of course, I think it kind of is fair to say that you wonder about like if he's going to get hurt or not. I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, as a Bulldogs fan, I feel like I always remember him being banged up. But you've got him, you've got, I mean, you've got some fun pieces. I feel like Herbert's just a good enough quarterback that he's gonna truck the damn football. Joshua Palmer's another wide receiver they still have. They're familiar with each other and will Palmer stay healthy, kind of the same thing. But I feel like they still have some answers on offense. They went out and got JK Dobbins and uh, Gus Bus. So, I mean, I don't know. They could still weirdly be fun. I don't think they're gonna be great, but I think they could be fun. Mims is gonna get this one. We got the football here. We just gotta try to play smart. Oh my God, Mims. Oh my God, Mims. I thought we might've had something there. All the way to the 41, what a good return. Here comes Bo Nix, the king of the Broncos. Look, his stats aren't gonna look as pretty now. I'm aware, I kind of butchered it. Nine, ta nine touchdowns, nine interceptions, 873 yards. We gotta be better. But Bo Nix has had a bad game before and then he came back and bounced back. So hopefully he can do the same here. Here we go, Bo Nix. Hand that damn football off to start us off. And look at Javante Williams getting big gains. A carry for 14 yards off the rip. We'll take that all day. Here we go, first and 10, Bo Nix dropping back. And we're just gonna thread the needle right there if we can. It did not, we were not threaded enough. The intended receiver is Cortland Sutton. I'm trying to make sure I hit him still. I feel like I'm not hitting him as much as maybe I should. Here we go. Oh, I wanted to lob that thing to Y in the worst case scenario, dude. I thought I had it. We throw it out of a sack and now all of a sudden it's third and 10. Here we go. Gotta believe. I put Franklin in motion. I'm gonna chuck it. Oh my God, this corner route's gonna be beautiful. Franklin's got it. And he's still up and he goes down to the three. That worked out good. We pulled Franklin from the other side and we the other routes were coming back to the middle of the field. We put Franklin on a corner. He beats his man and he just gets open for a beautiful football for Bo Nix. Perfectly lobbed and delivered there. That is a monster play. The Oregon to Oregon connection. I'm just saying. Here we go. Play action. I don't like what we see. Just get rid of it. Believe it's out of there. It's second and goal. Dimu, that's a great job of throwing the football out. You didn't just take the sack or do something stupid. I know. Second and goal. Dropping back. Cortland Sutton. He's open. Touchdown. <laughs> Bo Nix has more touchdowns than interceptions now, and I'll take no ifs, ands, or buts. 10th touchdown of the year. It hits Cortland Sutton, the legend, the king, and honestly, our wide receiver number one. So love to see that right there. Cortland Sutton gets one, and this is going to be a 7 nothing game. Kick that damn football, baby. Let's go. Broncos, nay! Are you neighing at home? Is it just me neighing? Is it my 32-year-old ass sitting alone in my house just neighing at 5.30 in the morning? Might be. All right, now I don't know how we're gonna play defense. I'm gonna be honest. I'm very worried about Herbert just dicing us up. If Minshew gave me fits, well, what the hell's a good quarterback gonna do? Speaking of the good quarterback and Herbert, let's see how he's doing this season. As he takes the field for the first Chargers drive, he's got 804 yards, six tutties and two interceptions. He's had a pretty dang good year. Hopefully this is his bad game. I'll, please. First and 10, is it a run on the first play? Maybe, maybe not. Play action. It's a little, that was a very interesting play. It was uh, not a check down per se, but it was, it had a lot of movement involved and it, it uh, play action ate my ass. That's gonna be a first down for the Chargers. First and 10, looking to throw, looking to throw. How did he catch that football? I have, I have, I thought we were gonna pick that. I thought we were gonna pick it, if not slap it away. I don't know how the hell that football was caught. Joshua Palmer touchdown, talked about him, talked about his familiarity with Herbert and right there. I don't know how the hell that's caught. Who got who got pissed on like that? Who was, a replay, go to it. I mean, he's right there, bro. Put your hand forward. Also, how are you catching that football, bro? Look at the angle he caught that one-handed to bring it in. What? Oh, Turner, yell. I, I don't want to say it, but you're a bitch. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. 
wake up grab a brush and put on a little bit of makeup something so an interesting first quarter here is this kick right here is going to go up and make this a 7-7 football game yep 7-7 football game dicker the kicker here he is kicking this bad boy off who's gonna run this back it's dorsett who had that big return last week and i would love it if he could find another he's not going to this time as he goes down to the 30 might be my fault i might have gotten a little too close and here comes bo nix qb rushing yards bo nix is second in the league currently with 228 rushing yards that is insane speaking of rushing yards though here we go we're gonna run this damn football on the first play of this drive javante williams getting thrown down after a five yard gain his second carry 19 yards to show for him bo nix dropping back oh god he's still up and now he's dead third and 15 it was like the never-ending fall i am not in love with what i'm seeing here but let's let's believe in magic honestly deep ball from bo nix and it's beautifully placed to Cortland sutton they were pressing him and i saw it we take the safety back to the middle of the field with the crosser and it's a beautiful read Cortland sutton touchdown oh baby we're in a shootout here with the chargers hurley right there that second receiver is going to pull the safety a little bit towards the middle of the field that's enough for Cortland sutton to beat the man pressed on him and he's going to fly past him beautiful ball from bo nix we needed that bad and the kick right there makes it 14 to 7 the broncos nay please nay with me got a 14 7 lead here we go all righty the chargers are ready to return this bad boy and hopefully we don't let them big hit stick i don't know if that counted it didn't feel like a hit stick but he went down ugly at the 29 here comes herbert I'll play more zone right here since we got absolutely cooked and shitted on see how that goes first and 10 this could be a run it is a run and we're gonna jump on it pretty quickly three yard gain though for the chargers here we go second and seven is this a run it's not, it's gonna be a qb designed run oh herbert's getting crazy out here he got absolutely annihilated though but a big gain and a first down i gotta be honest i wasn't expecting for herbert to just shit in my ass but that sucked this is gonna be a pass with an empty backfield unless herbert decides to scramble again first and ten we're looking right over the middle of the field and it's gonna be a first down right there i want to say that's hayden hurst and it is the tight end i think he played for the ravens and the falcons and then the panthers and i think he had a wicked injury last year didn't he where people were like oh shit is he gonna play again or am i thinking of something different i don't know let me know in the comments but falcons legend of course of course play action we almost jumped that route we almost jumped it right there i think that was turner yell jumping that route right there second and ten uh, it was attempted to be a halfback screen but the screen but the the defensive line got to him so quick throwing out of a sack third and ten now i need our defensive line to actually show out here it's gonna be another screen and this time we will wrap it up fourth and ten they ain't getting shit on that they're gonna have to settle for attempting a field goal here with fourth down and listen we'll take that all day right there stopping them at the 35 kicker the dicker of course i think makes these rather easily it'd be cool if he didn't though but he does drills it it's gonna be a 14 to 10 game hey the defense getting a stop right there i'll take it and we're still in the first quarter here with two seconds left this should be the final bit of the first quarter us trying to return this mims jr he's ready where are we going oh we're still up we're now we're down he popped us in the face broncos start the drive here to start the second quarter at the 29 yard line but bo nix has had some beautiful footballs in the air i'm just saying he's looked good today hopefully he can continue it after you know as we get to the second third and fourth quarter i like how as i said he's looking great the cp or the the game was showing a highlight of him getting decked in the kidneys here we go first and ten javante williams gonna try to run this and he'll get pushed forward for five yards. Honestly, it feels like they're getting to me really quick on Williams, but we're just able to pop them really good. I don't love the idea of running into two star players here, but we're gonna, and Williams will almost get the first down, third and two. I almost want to throw the football here, but I feel like I should run it. I'm gonna, oof, maybe we take just a quick little, a little shit pass, maybe. Uh, I'm kind of worried. Here we go. Right th oh that's a pick oh <laughs> what am i doing what am i doing i read that so late read it so late well it's it's now 17 to 14 well and bo nix's great quarter lasted exactly that a quarter ha! bad read i know i know through the pick i hate it i'm sad i i saw that way too late that that was open and my first look was dolchich with the cur uh, curl i didn't think it was open i looked at sutton i didn't think it was open but it might have been i don't know now i'm upsetty spaghetti but here we go mims you want to return this one oh maybe 
Oh, maybe you're going to get some good yards here. All right. Starting at the 43. We'll take it. Here we go. Knicks. Got to get some blocks here. We're going to pop back to the right side and we'll pop up with five yards for Javante Williams. And there's an injury there. I think it's, I think the say it said Larson is hurt for the Chargers. I'm going to flip this. My, my first look, I feel, is that damn corner route. Actually, just take this right here with Cortland Sutton for the first down. We'll take that all day. Beautiful pass. Cortland Sutton, he's been busy today. Third reception on his fourth target. Two touchdowns, 86 yards already. This could work. If I can get that, that high safety to go with Doltich, it could work. It could work. It's not going to. It's not going to. Just get rid of it. Throw it away. It probably would have worked, to be honest, if I chucked it deep. I think I panicked and I got in my own head. Here we go. Daddy's looking. Daddy's looking. We threw the worst pass of fucking my career. That's not where I wanted that football. All right. Well, Junior Colson, this second quarter has not gone good for us. Another pick. We have two touchdowns and two picks. We have 11 touchdowns, 11 picks on the season now for Bo Nix, and we are losing this football game, and I'm dying inside. Thank God it's an incomplete pass. Holy shit. What am I doing? Run the damn football. Go back to that. There's a run, and we get off the tackle, but we can't grab him. Third and four. Somebody was grabbing us pretty good there on that defensive line. I didn't like that. Couldn't get away from the block. Third and four for the Chargers here. Man in motion. And here we go. That's a... Oh, it could have been a pick. It's going to be fourth and four. We will get the football back. A lot of defensive bodies right there. That was not a good read. That was a demo read if I've ever seen it. And they're going to have to punt the football. So the pick, while it sucks, while it kills our boy Bo Nix, it's not going to be the end of us at all. As we will get the football back here for a shot to do something before the half. First and 10. This feels like a lot of bodies for us to try to run past, but this is going to work. We're going to go outside, pop back in. Nine yard gain, second and one. Here we go. Play action. Patrick. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh my God, he caught it. Oh my God, Tim Patrick is a man. So we can't make short passes, but we can chuck it deep and believe in ourselves. I don't know what's happening. Bo Nix, here we go. Get outside. Run. Thank you, Javante. Thank you for the six yards. We'll take that two-minute warning action here. I am going to put shoe clock on. I do not want the Chargers to get the football back here. It's always funny when two-minute warning happens because I feel like your your coach suggests turns into you not being able to ever think about like possibly running the football. They're like, you better throw it, fatty. You better throw the shit out of that fat, uh, out of that fat fucking football. Here we go. Looking to throw, looking to throw. Oh, I got a touchdown right there. I didn't really want to give him the football back with a minute, but I saw it. It was beautiful. It was Franklin, I think. It was. Franklin with a touchdown. We'll take it. Troy Franklin, boy. I love to see it. Make me smile. I'm liking Troy Franklin. I need Troy Franklin to get his shit together in training camp and be like solid. I'm tired of reading things that he's not solid because I'm liking him too much in this series for him to be an absolute shitter. 21 to 17 now. We need a stop. Too much time on the clock. I'm, I'm very worried about that. The CPU loves to cook with a two minute drill and passing the football. I need them to be really stupid or just fumble or interception. Anything would be great. I would greatly appreciate it. Here we go. First and 10 with a minute nine on the clock. Herbert looking to throw on this play and he's going to. Oh, we were right there though. Second and four clock still going. Actually, uh, the Chargers use a timeout here. Looking to throw again. And they're going to throw pretty much right at me. That makes me sad. Big hit. Did he go out of bounds? I think he did. A minute on the clock. Not ideal. Didn't even have. Oh, they used the timeout. He did not go out of bounds. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. A little check down there. 56 seconds. Clock will keep. There's their last time. I feel like using all your timeouts this early is bold. Is, is that fair to say? Fair to say bold as hell? Maybe? No timeout. Second and three. Well, it doesn't matter because they're just going to hit the piss out of... That's a that's a beautiful first down. Beautiful ball right there. Everything's open there on Quince, Quentin Johnston. The drop king just caught a football on me. I'm going to fucking be sick. First and 10. I need somebody to make a play. I need a mistake from Herbert. 37 seconds on the clock. Cover the check down. He's going to go out of bounds with 32 seconds, second and four. That is dangerous right there. Not in love with what I'm seeing here. We got to have a big play by somebody. There's a check down. There's a wrapped up tackle. Third and five. Clock will keep going. They hurry it up. This is the final play. This is the final play. No! He went out of bounds. Oh my God, there's one second left. They're on the one. Oh my God, they're kicking a field goal. They're kicking a field goal. Why are we not in, why are we not in field goal? Oh my God, with one second. Are you effing kidding me? Coach suggests sees them line up in field goal. Doesn't want us to be in field goal. Can I... 
Can I ask the important question on why? They're not faking it with one second. That's just not happening. Yeah, they're gonna drill it and make it a 21-20 game. Uh, my coach is a fucking moron. Eat shit, Sean Payton. That's not Sean Payton because they don't have your rights to the game. So we got whoever this fat piece of shit is. We have a lead though, even though we've played like shit. Nice. Is this why you like the video? Have you liked it right now? Help me do it. Love you. All right, we're winning by one, but we do have to give them the football. So this kind of sucks. A pick or a fumble or a three and out would be so absolutely positively monstrously huge. And they're going to go down to the 30. That's where the Chargers start the drive. And now we need the Bronco defense to start looking better. Looking to throw on the first play here. Nothing in the middle. Where are you throwing that? Oh my God, Jones almost with a pick. The intended target was Johnston. <sighs> I thought maybe we were going to jump that. We really had a shot at something, I think. Okay, we're in man here, and this worked out so good for them, and I hate it. Big hit on Hayden Hurst. He'll fall out of bounds, but first and 10. Didn't like that. I, I thought they were going to run it. I, I'm kind of bummed they didn't. I was really ready for stopping the run. First and 10. This could be a run. Should be a run. It's not a run. He's going to scramble, though, and he's going to hit his check down, which just zigzagged through my ass, and I shit my pants. Thanks, Lad McConkey, you asshole. First and 10. Looking to throw. It's going to be a throw, and it hits off of Johnston, I think. That's what I'm used to seeing. Johnston not catching a football. Looking to, looking to play the pass. There's... God, we got to make a play. Thank God. I think that was PS2 slapping that football away. Oh, my God. No, it wasn't. It was Turner Yell. I'm an idiot. Third and 10. I need my defensive line to put pressure. Please put pressure. Have to put pressure. Third down. And there's no pressure. There's just none. Lad McConkey threw me aside like a basic bitch as well. First down, they're on the five. I mean, good Lord, dude. Trying our ass off here, but we just can't get anything going. Here's a run, and it's going to be a couple yards, actually. They go down to the three, second and goal. Second and ten. It's a run up the middle, but Barton's all over it. Let's go. Third and goal. They're at the two. I need to stop. If they kick a field goal, I'm going to squeal. I need a field goal in the worst way. This could be a pass. It's not. It's a run up the middle, and we're going to stop it. It's fourth and goal. They're going to kick a field goal. Wow, the defense came up big after blowing it. We will take that all day. It'll be a 23-21 game. That puts us in a good spot. I need good stuff from Bo Nix here, and we can take the lead by a good bit. Come on. Woo, we need it. Dicker the kicker nailed it, by the way. That's too fun to say. Here's the kick. And now Mims Jr. looking to return this bad boy. Give me a block. Wow, he flew off the block and into my anus. Here comes Bo Nix at the 27. First and 10. But we can, we can run to the outside and pop back towards the middle. That'll work. Six-yard gain there for Javante Williams. He's getting some good gains, getting some good yards. Second and four, Bo Nix handing that football off again, and we're going to dive right up there. Third and one now. Can we get the one yard? I need our offensive line to cook here. And it looks like they will. Javante Williams does end up getting it. No, it's fourth and inches. I disagree. He got in there, then was getting pushed back. What? I'm terrified to challenge that. So I'm not going to. Fourth and inches. Bo, get yourself dirty. Let's go. First down. I don't know what the hell just happened, but we're going to spike the football. Second and 10. Nice. I didn't want to waste my time out there. I don't know what just happened. Second and 10. Right there. Oh, that might be scary. That's a... I did not see that number three coming out and smacking Sutton right in his face. That's not good. Here we go. Bo Nix. Dolchich. He's got the corner out. Dolchich has it. Trying to make a move all the way to the 16. Look at old Greg go. Look at my mangina. You guys remember old Greg? Or is that just me? No idea. Here we go. Drop him back. We got room. We got room. Let's add a couple yards to that uh, to that total we got for rushing yards. Second and two. End of the third quarter. Whew, it's a sweaty one here in Denver. Bo Nix dropping back. Middle of the field. It's Franklin. He's got a touchdown. The rookie to rookie connection is beautiful. Four touchdowns in the air for Bo Nix. Yes, he has two interceptions. Shut your damn mouth, internet. What is the score now? Do I go for two? Is that the move? Troy Franklin, you're beautiful. I want to know who Troy Franklin is in real life because I want to tell him that I appreciate and love him. It is 27 to 23. So it's a four point game. Just take the kick. That's fine. The kick is up. The kick is good. Beautiful stuff here. 28 to 23. Fourth quarter action. We need our defense to look good. Bo Nix with a beautiful drive there. All right. I, I'm going to tell you, now would be a real good time for a fumble. Something. No fumble. We hit the dick out of him, though. 
Down to the 27. Here comes Herbert and the Chargers. I'm going to send a weak blitz here, but I'm going to see if we can just get something magical to happen. First and 10. It's going to be a handoff here. We're actually going to read it rather well, but man, we just couldn't shoot the gap quick enough. Eight yard gain on the ground. Can't be a run again, right? They're, they just wouldn't do that. They've been throwing the football so much and they're down with... No, nope, it is a run. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. You're not going to get the first down. Third and two on a pitch to Edwards. Is that Clyde Edwards hilarious? No, that's not him. Who the hell? No, that's Gus Edwards. It's Gus Boss. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking... I'm, I'm stupid. It's a run. It's a run. Can we get there? We can't. We can't get there. Oh my God, he just threw us aside. Oh my God, we have a fat man running and I can't get him. Turner Yell can't get him. Oh my God. Gus Edwards just... Just threw us like a bitch and shit it in my ass. I didn't like that. I'll be, I'll keep it a buck head with you. And just like that, the Chargers have a lead. It's 29 to 28. They're going to go for two points, obviously, here. I would love a stop. How do we get a stop? How do we get a stop? Here we go. Gotta believe. Long live the queen. It's a run. And he's just... <laughs> He's just going to tiptoe in. Well, it's 31 to 28. That sucks. But a touchdown here would give us a big lead. So we just got to play for the touchdown. Field goal ties it. 438 on the clock. I'm not opposed to trying to kill as much of this fourth quarter as possible. Here's Dorsett. Can he run this thing to the promised land? And the answer is no. Down at the 31. Here we go. First and 10. Get me a run. I'm following the blocks. And I got elbowed right in the jaw. It looked like second and seven. Three yard gain. Bo Nix dropping back. Oh, I had X. We're going to get sacked. Third and 14. I tried to get rid of it. Nope. What is happening? I'm double tapping square. I got to burn a timeout. Oh, God. What are we doing? I don't know how to feel about this. We can't get rid of the football. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> it's fourth and 14 now. I have to punt. We have to punt and hope for some defense. This is brutal. Not really Bo Nix's fault. Just I couldn't get anything going. I couldn't get anything open. The run didn't get me a ton. I tried to throw the football. We got brought down slowly on a sack and couldn't get rid of it. You got to think they're trying to kill some clock and they're going to run this damn football, right? Nope, it's a pass. And it's a beautiful pass to McConkie for a first down. First and 10, Chargers, 3.09 on the clock. I have to stop them. There's a check down and we're going to we're gonna bring him down. I don't know what the hell I was doing with my guy, but we don't talk about it. This might not be a pass. They might actually run the damn football here. We still have two timeouts in the two minute warning. You got it. You got to get in there. You got to get a tackle. You got to get a tackle. You got it. Jesus Christ. I got the first down. All right. Two minute warning and I have two timeouts. We're just not looking good. 31 28. Man. God, if we could have just had a smart drive there. Shit. I mean, if anything, we know it's a run up the middle. Everybody and their brother knows that you're running the damn football. You're running the football. There's okay. There's a there's a flag. This might save me my timeout. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Sure. This has got to be a run. It is a run. We're going to swarm him. He's down. There's our second timeout. Minute 58. I want to run commit. It feels like the right thing to do. It doesn't matter. It works. Timeout. Third and 17. There's a weird world where this could still work. There's a really weird world. Oh my God. They ran the football. Oh my God. They ran the football. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that. Fourth and four. They're going to kick a field goal here. A lot of clocks going to come down. We're going to have a minute with no timeouts to do this. Can we do this? This is a huge can we. The kick is up. Of course, it's good. I didn't want to try to slap him and give them a first down. No timeouts, a minute two on the clock, and it's a six-point game. A touchdown in the extra point wins it. Run to the outside. I don't, I don't get enough. Shit. I need, I need corner routes to get open, believe it or not. Like, I need that real bad. Really, really bad. This could work. Cortland Sutton just dropped the football. Is that who that was? No, it was Tim Patrick. Tim Patrick is dead to me. You got to have that ball, brother. What the fuck was that? Would a corner work here? And then maybe if I did a post with Patrick, this could work. Did Greg Dolch just catch it? He didn't. Third and 10. I have to get a first down here. God damn it. I didn't know what to do. I saw that he had beat it. I was like, I got to get rid of it soon. I don't know what was happening. Third, fourth and 10. This game is literally in the balance of right now. It has to happen. <gasps> Yes, they left Cortland Sutton alone. 41 seconds. I don't have any timeouts. We don't need to look at any fucking graphics. I don't want to hurry it up because that does like weirdly enough to the clock where it murders it. Stop showing me this shit. 30 seconds. Okay, they came back and they ate his ass. I don't have... No, s snap the ball. I, I tried to... S I didn't know if this would fuck it up. Oh no, he's kept the... F and GG's. Uh, the clock in this game is borderline the fucking dumbest shit. 
If you don't do anything, the clock goes. If you hurry up offense, you're screwed. If you try to spike the ball, you're screwed. I mean, that's stupid. And then it didn't even spike the football. He fucking held it because I was trying to snap the fucking ball and he faked it. I fixed the clock. It's backwards. If you don't do anything, the clock barely moves. And except for if it wants to show you every goddamn replay in the fucking game. I can't believe it just lost. We're three and three now. I hate it here. Bo Nix, 262 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. The two interceptions are brutal. Yes, I got to be better at that. Yes. But God, man, what the hell? We ran nine times for 49 yards with uh, Javante Williams. We ran three times for 19 with P. Ryan. Three for 12 with Bo Nix. Receiving yards. Corden Sutton had a good game. Four receptions, 110 yards, two touchdowns. Franklin, three receptions, 58 yards, two touchdowns as well. Dolchich had one for 45, had a drop. If he hide that drop on that last drive, I, I kind I kind of feel like he maybe should have. I don't know. I, maybe I'm being a bitch, but it would have been nice. Patrick won for 46. Had a beautiful uh, ball as well. Had a drop. Sutton had two drops as well. Not to let that go unpunished. P Ryan won for three. Our defense, which was getting picks, ain't doing that now. Sacks ain't doing that. Tackle for losses. Uh, we did have some TFLs, but not enough in my opinion. In the past deflections, we had four of them. God, grab one of those footballs, bro. Mm, I'm sad. We lost two. The battle for our division is looking bleak, but it was a good game, came down to the wire. And we're, we we got a young quarterback. We got a, you know, he had a great game. Four touchdowns in the air, two picks, two picks. I'm mad at myself, internet. I'm mad at myself. But we got some upgrades here, Troy Franklin. We're gonna throw slot on this mad lad right here. See what we get, got four things. Catching traffic, catching medium route and short route, all get plus one. Maybe that is not the move that we should be doing. He is somehow not at 500 downs yet, no idea. Caden Stearns, uh, zone, just your safety, just believe in zone. I have not, that's what we're hoping for. Two awareness, one zone, nice. And Bo Nix does have star dev. So we kind of knew that was happening. I want to know what Franklin has. He probably has star as well, but man, he's having a great little start to his career, I feel. I mean, 309 yards, he's got six touchdowns already. Franklin's been a really good piece for this offense, especially because we didn't really start using him, I feel, in the first game or two, right? Like, I feel like he kind of had to explode on his own. He's doing nice. I'm liking Franklin. I think we got to move Reynolds at least for a pick. Even Whether we think we're out of it or not, I think Reynolds is 100% just whatever draft pick I can get. Get him out of here, send him on his way. God, defeating losses, I'll tell you. This this one was tough. I'm, I feel upset with myself, but it be that way. We play the Saints next week and then the Panthers. I feel like the schedule's really not that damn hard. Saints have their own issues. The Panthers, what is happening with Bryce Young? Is he going to take the step that everybody thinks? It's a primetime game. Holy crap. And then the Ravens at week nine. Good Lord. Tough stuff here. But as I leave you in this one, it is three. We're three and three in the division. The Chargers two and three. Ra uh, Raiders are four and two. And the Chiefs are four and one. Division isn't lost yet, but we need to figure out what's happening. And we need to figure it out soon. We also have potential for a receiver breakout next week. Oh, that'll be fun. But I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, the ups, the downs of franchise, the stories, I say. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below. And let me know, is the breakout receiver going to be Cortland Sutton or is it going to be Troy Franklin? I will see you in the next one. Also, if you want to join un underdog fantasy week or year long drafts, make sure you check us out on Twitter. I'm going to be popping those in every single day where you can join and run a season long draft with me on underdog using code daddy D where you can get your first deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. But we'll be doing season long fantasy leagues uh, on underdog. Make sure you take a look on Twitter and the Twitch stream. I'm going to be doing them all the way leading up to uh to, to game one i mean so to week one so it'll be super fun i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace